Welcome to Shaky Sports Journeys. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Another uh, T20 World Cup preview. This one is on the eve of the tournament starting. So Scotland will take on Bangladesh tomorrow and there's other fixtures that are going to be starting as well. But obviously, big interest in, what, in how the Scotland camp are going to do. So I thought bring a, a great guest just before the tournament starts and, and who better than my, my dear friend um, a Scotland opening bowler, Safian Sharif. Safi, how you doing? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Sam. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Listen, I'm feeling... I look like a Saturday morning in Glasgow. You've turned up looking like a million dollars. You've got sea views you're looking over the top at. How does this look come about? You're looking fresh to the tournament. Um, well, uh, Hamza's uh, taking the responsibility to be the barber of the trip, and he's doing a great job so far. So that's why I'm looking fresh for this interview today. Um, but yeah, he just started um, doing this since we've been in a bubble in Edinburgh against the Zimbabwe series and he was like, oh, let's, I need to start practicing here. So he, I was his, you know, dummy for the first uh, haircut. So he's, he's got job, bad man. throughout the tournament. Yeah, he's, he's doing, he's doing a fantastic job. I think he's got like five clients today, so he's a bit busy. So if, if, listen, we're all very hopeful that he's going to bowl very well in the tournament, but if nothing else, he's going to have a positive impact on the squad anyway, because he's, he's making you all look, look really good. So listen, well done, Hamza. Keep up the good work. Maybe I can get a free haircut. Uh, when he gets back to back to Scotland. Listen, about to go into a massive tournament. You've got a huge game tomorrow against Bangladesh. How are you feeling in general? You're fit? You're ready to go? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Um, just trying to, you know, nail a few things that are, has been working for me and I'm just going to look to do that tomorrow in the evening game and uh, we'll see how things go from there. You've played now in big games. You know, you played in a massive qualifier. Um, against the West Indies, where sadly rain ruined the party. But I mean, you were bowling up top and got Chris Gale early. You played in a massive England game where you delivered a famous Yorker at the end. So you've got that experience of playing in big games. So this shouldn't be anything that, that phases you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, everyone will be nervous, obviously, against Bangladesh. They're, they're, the top, they're in the top six in the T20 rank. So, I mean, they're a good side. Everyone's going to be a little bit nervous. I will have a little bit nervous. But I think the work we've done, the amount of work we've done has been great uh, leading up to the trip. And I think everyone's pretty confident. And I believe that we will, you know, put in the hard yards and get over the line. Inshallah. Inshallah. Um, you, know, you mentioned the lead up. You, I mean, played some fantastic cricket. Even in that Zimbabwe series, it was only the last five overs and two of the games that you, that you lost. Really, you could have won both of those games. You could have won that series 3 now, And then you went into... The tour starting, you know, we played games in Oman and you've been to Dubai and you've played a fantastic brand of cricket. And it's not just one or two players. It seems like everyone in the squad is putting their hand up. Is that is that how you feel? Are you excited about the, the squad in general? Yeah, I think it's fantastic to see guys peaking at the right time, which is important. And the guys that have been scoring runs or the taking rookies are pretty consistent throughout the whole of all of the game, which is quite good leading up towards uh, our first game. So very excited and I just can't wait to see what the guys can bring on board. You were at the 2015 World Cup. Sadly, you didn't play, but you got to be around it and you got the experience. Do you feel like this is your time now to shine as well? You've been waiting for this opportunity for, for many years, I'd imagine, and here you are on the eve of a, a massive tournament. You must be buzzing to go. Yeah, definitely. I think, well, obviously T20 cricket or any World Cup stage is one of the best places to be at and to expose yourself, expose your skills. So you're not going to get many opportunities like these. So we just need to, you know, cherish every moment and uh, take things as they come. Your family, you've got, uh, you know, you've got a great family network. Um, you know, the, the Sharifs, they, they're, they're very proud of you. You're a very tight unit. Your dad's a big cricket fan. Your two sons must be buzzing to watch dad on TV tomorrow against Bangladesh. That must drive you on a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I think family is a big thing for me because uh, all the sport has come from my parents, my family. Everyone has been supported me since I was young. And, uh, you know, that's something that motivates me to do, you know, well and try to perform as best as I can. So it's very important for them um, that I do well in this tournament and the leading up to the games tomorrow. Well, you better because Mr. Sharif, I know, is quite critical. Um, if you don't, if you don't deliver, so um, if, if you don't, you've got the coach to deal with, and then you've got your dad probably when you get back to the room, who 
they'll be uh, having a word in your ear. Like, but uh, listen, I'm confident. You know, you've been delivering consistently now with the ball for many years. I think you're going to uh, you're going to shine in this tournament. Apart from the Bangladesh game, you've got two other fixtures against uh, Oman and their home conditions and against PNG. But you've had the experience of playing against these teams already. It's not like it's going to be something completely new. You must. How, how are you feeling? You must feel confident to go into those two games as well because you have beaten them quite a few times recently. Yeah, we are uh, pretty confident with anyone who we come across. But it's, you never know on the day if they play well, you know, they can turn the game away. They're, they're two very dangerous sides. and. Uh, they both have beaten us before in, in 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 ODI cricket, so it's something that we can't take lightly. We have to take every game seriously and make sure that we're not slacking off. We need to do the right things, and and that's what we're going to look to do with every team that we play against. Well, up until now, you've been extremely clinical as a team. Um, you you've delivered, and you you seem to be really dominating the fixtures. My hope is that you know nothing changes when the tournament starts. The tournament pressure. Sometimes it's a little bit different. Scotland haven't really stamped their authority on a big tournament yet. The, there he is. There's the barber. It's all right, Mr. Barber. You can come in. He's all right. He's, he's, uh, he's away. He's away. Now. He's away. He's gone. He looks yeah. like he needs a haircut. Um, yeah, he does. <laughs> uh, so the, the, the tournament pressure, have you talked about that as a squad? Like, listen, it's just it's another game. It's no different to playing in the, the lead up to the tournament. We just need to keep doing the, the same things we're doing. Yeah, everyone everyone knows that it's just, you know, another game of cricket, obviously. There will be a lot of now this world stage, you know, you wanna everyone wants to do well and expose their skills because you know it leads to other things as well. So I think I think everyone's uh, um, pretty confident to be honest and, and everyone's playing really good cricket at the moment. Not is we have fantastic staff as well that's helped us a lot in these conditions and uh, even the guys that have not been playing games, they've been fantastic and doing it. Outstanding job. So it's very important for all of us to, you know, be in the right task and, and do well. Yeah, as, as, as a squad, you really do look very together. Coaching staff look like they're doing a fantastic job, as you say. Listen, from uh, from all the way in Glasgow to lovely Oman, uh, I say to you, best wishes to you, brother. Um, Thank we'll you very much. We'll be tuning in Sunday. Um, I'd expect there'll be a big party in the Sharif household. The Bagori will be on, the Samosi will be out, <laughs> and everyone will be in, uh, enjoying the game. Go and do your go and do your absolute best, um, and maybe we'll talk again at some point as the, as the tournament goes on. No problem. Thanks for that, Shaky, for your time. Thank you very much, Shafi. Cheers. Thank you. Take care.